We are in Chinatown. Traveling. I love traveling. Walking around new places without a plan, soaking up the atmosphere. Anything could happen. Meeting people, connecting, eating. Mm, yeah, eating. Lots of eating. Look at these old doors of this hundred year old building. Amazing. And that we have a chance to stay here. That's unbelievable. So one of the biggest dilemmas in Chinatown is where are we going to eat? But when we crossed the road, we saw something we needed even more. Coffee. Yeah, sure. Okay. This old style coffee shop is just opposite to our unique Airbnb. We have chosen to stay in a traditional Chinese shop house. The coffee and the Airbnb makes us feel like we traveled in time. Later, we will give you a full tour inside. And by the way, did I already introduce Saskia to you, my best friend? <laughs> so this was one dilemma less, so we have now coffee, coffee. Thai style. Very good. So I feel like Chinatown really surprised me. I've been here before many years ago. Can't even remember, to be honest. But I thought it was just all about food, but now I realize like there's so much more to Chinatown. This is the main street called Yawarat. And here are the little alleys where you can buy plasticky stuff and special food items from China. That's what I was expecting, Chinatown, like any other Chinatown around the world. So when Saskia said she wanted to stay here for a few nights, I was like loud, noisy, smelly. No, I don't feel like doing that at all. But I'm so happy I came here. Chinatown really surprised me. I love this part of Bangkok that feels so authentic with its small alleys, diverse architecture, growing art scene and trendy nightlife. And of course, the kind and lovely people of Thailand <laughs> everywhere you go. Are we still going to start with some food? So there's something going on on the other <laughs> side of the road. Any idea? I don't know. I think it's been on Instagram or something or a YouTube movie or whatever. Social media did its job. Look. Yeah. They're yeah. queuing up for this place. I, I feel like I want to go eat at this place because like there's so many people, right? It must be good, but at the same time, there are so many people. So yeah. I think we should move on. What should we do? Should we eat at this place or not? Let us know in the comments. <laughs> what do you do when you see a big queue of people in front of a restaurant? And you know, they are insta-famous! So what do we have here? Yellow noodles with red pork and crab meat, which seems to be the thing here in Chinatown. Add some Chinese kale, green onion, garlic and chili. Yum! The broth has a mild flavor and you can adapt it to fit your taste by adding either vinegar, fish sauce, sugar and chili. Really good. I think I'm gonna buy a present for Millie and Manu. What do you think? Would they like it? Yeah, it's powered by solar energy, so it will keep on going. Oh, we're going to buy one of these Chinese herbal drinks. Reduce inflammation. Yeah, so we need to find out what is our problem and then fix it, right? Okay. Oh, no, this one, we need this. Help stimulate collagen production. We're getting old, our skin is not firm anymore. This is for our wrinkles. Yes. <laughs> now collagen is good for your skin elasticity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try it out. And this is hot. This is the so this is, a, this is hot and this is cold. Okay. Okay. So which one will do first? I will do the cold one first. It smells green. Okay. Yes. Nice. 
nice. It's good, yeah. I like it. Very healthy. How do you know it's very healthy? Because <laughs> it tastes green. <laughs> it tastes like a green plant, you know, with a bit of sugar. Oh, it tastes like a spinach drink. And now we get a place in that restaurant where there was a huge queue before. But apparently at this time we can just eat here. My chiu dang chang, there's no queue yao lei. Later, we found out that this place had a special mention on the Michelin street food guide. Aha! So this is the, um, the noodle soup, the raw noodles with pork. Mm. A lot of white pepper. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a good food vlogger. If you want to know more, please check out Mark Wynn's vlog. I think it's been here. I guess now it's a good time to show you our very unique Airbnb called Ban Yok, the Jade House. The traditional Chinese shop house was built by the immigrants who came from southern China almost 100 years ago. The shop house is divided in different levels, with the ground floor usually used as a shop or these days as a Spanish tapas bar. The staircase leads us to this atmospheric living room filled with retro vibes, wooden floors and antique furniture. We didn't get to meet the owners unfortunately, a Thai woman and her Spanish husband, but their love for the place shined through. I would have loved to hear more from them about their business and the inspiration for it. For me personally, staying at a local Airbnb really adds to the unique experience. And what about you? Do you like to stay somewhere like this or do you prefer a hotel? Another staircase leads to the bedroom and there's a room to keep your belongings and a balcony to relax. The owners have five different apartments in this area, all old, authentic Chinese shop houses. I will add all the links of the places we visited in the description of the video, in case you want to visit Chinatown. And the price? Not too bad at all. All around 2,000 baht a night, which is about 50 to 60 dollar. We stayed here a total of four nights and I would have loved to stay longer. Don't believe anyone who tells you a day in Chinatown is enough. The longer you stay, the more you can really soak in the atmosphere. Next we are heading to Talat Noi, another part of Chinatown with a growing art scene and trendy bars and restaurants. Yeah. Why can't you see No hope is left of me I had to tell you before I fall asleep Sitting there on the edge plate Not knowing which way to lean of Chinatown to be honest like before I came here I didn't really know what to expect I was thinking like Mark Wien's good food you know Chinese local style kind of but this is so much more than that like look at this art everywhere everywhere we walk there's like art there's all these like trendy places just next to the really local places old versus new I didn't expect this I'm so happy I'm really happy with this city, to be honest. Bangkok, I love you! Now you're very happy with me taking you here. I had in my head, zeg maar, that I overall ook heel veel mensen wilde fotograferen. Maar ik vind het eigenlijk, en ik, mijn oog gaat heel de tijd naar de details. Dus ik ben heel de tijd bezig met de kleuren, met, du met deuren, met planten, met weet je, dat soort dingen. En dan denk ik, oh nee, dat moet ik niet doen. Ik ben in de angst daar, ik moet mensen gaan fotograferen. Uh, maar nu lopen we hier langs een muur met allemaal foto's. En die hebben allemaal minimalistische foto's gemaakt van Bangkok. Gewoon van kleuren, weet je, en vormen en schaduwen en dat soort dingen. Dus het is oké, okay, weet je wel. Dat mag ik ook doen gewoon. We are both trying to be like kind of creators here, but it's really we having a really hard time because it's too much. It's sometimes you just feel like you're not good enough. You don't really know what to do. You don't have inspiration. But the key is just do it. Don't think too much. Just do it. You know. Like I'm doing it now. Okay. I'm doing it. <laughs> ah, I'm just doing it. What about you? Okay, I go. <laughs> and then we stumbled upon this art project in real life. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Hello, hello.
ย่านตึกอาคารเก่าพวกคนไทยเชื้อสายจีนที่อยู่กันมาร้อยกว่าปีนะครับแล้วก็พยายามพัฒนาเป็นสติอาร์ตเป็นอะไรนักท่องเที่ยวมาบายบาย Walking through the streets really feels sometimes like the time has stopped. I love you so much. Come on, mat mat now. Thai people are so easy to connect with, especially when you speak Thai. Oi, dang na. Dang na no. ประเทศไทยนี่จริงจริงมาจากประเทศไทยเพราะว่าอยู่นี่นานแล้วค่ะแล้วทำเองเลย And there's definitely a Vespa thing going on here. Have you ever seen so many old Vespas in one place? Where are we? Mango <laughs> Art Festival. Still too hot, even though we're in aircon. <laughs> what do you want to say about the Mango Art Festival? I like it so far, <laughs> but I would like to just keep on walking and looking at all the beautiful stuff. <laughs> and she says, "Stop filming me, okay? <laughs> right? Uh, yes. Even though you did a good job." Yes. That's what I'm telling you. The story is a story of a girl. Who lost in the painting? She used to be normal girl like us, and she lost in her own painting. The girl take the train and go to many station, and each station, she found some story that will talk to herself, talk to her heart. Actually, I used to be cabin crew, Japan Airlines cabin crew, so that's why I have many stories, pictures about Japan. Oh. And About almost 10 years, and I think it's time to do something for that I dreamed before for a long time. Wow! So I now you're making your dream come true. Yeah. So I quit my job yeah. and just start painting. Beautiful. <laughs> a few times I got recognized on the street as a YouTuber. Really strange experience, but as it doesn't happen too often, I can definitely enjoy these rare celebrity moments. <laughs> <laughs> so I had an amazing day. I forgot how it is to just be me without kids, without husband, just follow whatever we feel like, you know. I don't do. You, you cannot do this with two kids. No. I always want to be the two. Did you enjoy Chinatown with me? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, with Sweet Life Lanta.